Hey everyone, good afternoon. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage, day two, Google Cloud Next. We're th this is our second day, full day of coverage here, Lisa Martin with Dustin Kirkland. We've got an OG CUBE alumni back with us. We're going to have a great conversation about databases, gen AI, why real-time AI is the new norm, and a great customer story. Please welcome back, Raj Verma, CEO of Single Sort. Great to have you back, Raj. Great and to see you, Lisa. Yeah, absolutely, always. Kanan is here as well, Chief Architect at LiveRap. Guys, thank you for joining Dustin and me on Thank the cube today. Yeah. Raj, we go way back. We so do. We do, <laughs> we do. It doesn't mean we're getting older, but don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. No yeah, one's listening. Well, my kids do keep reminding me, but yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Talk, give us a little lay of the land, single story. You've been there about four years now. What's going on? What are some of the exciting things that you have going on at Cooking? Yeah, Lisa, as, uh, as you know, I've been a big proponent of real time. We do think that the world needs to be real time, and especially in the service economy that we live in. You and I go back to TIPCO days where we were propagating the same mantra. And uh, what was fascinating about Single Store Now and MemSQL then was the fact that in the database world, there wasn't a technology that could bridge the gap between transactional data and analytical data. So our vision has been and continues to be that the future of databases is going to be a platform where you can transact with very high fidelity and reason with data without moving data and put it in the right context in a hybrid multi-cloud environment with millisecond response times. And if you can do that, then that gives you actionable real-time insights to be able to do whatever it is, risk, personalization, save life of kids or what have you. So that's really our vision. You know, one of the things you and I talked about, I think it was early during COVID, right around the rebrand was real-time access isn't nice to have anymore. For businesses in any industry, you, you mentioned some great ones. Thorne, I know, is a great customer uh, of single stores, but retailers, on the consumer side, we just have this expectation. We can always be connected, we can get whatever we want, but it needs to be real-time, it needs to be relevant. Talk about, you say real-time is the new norm for everybody. Talk about why that is and how single stores really leading the charge there. Yeah, I, I do think that, I mean, just come to think of it, what you did since you woke up this morning in terms of the service providers that you used. I took a Uber, I listened to an audio book, uh, I'm going to probably buy something on Amazon or at least my <laughs> wife did. And all of that without real time doesn't work. So the fact is, whether you like it or not, the world is real time and our expectations of real time are very real. Yeah. Right, and they weren't so five years ago, you know, yeah. and um, and the fact is that in fact uh, that's one of the topics I cover in my upcoming book. Time is now. We talk about the fact that AI is not a new thing. I mean, I'm a computer science engineer, and we were doing AI 30 years ago when I was eight, of course. <laughs> and, uh, and the fact was, it's just basically because of the amount of information in the world and the compute power. And we see ourselves in Google, one of the biggest compute power providers are arguably one of the better ones. That has made AI and real time actually possible. Yeah. So really the three step process as we lay out in the book is information, there's tons and tons of it. Then it's putting that in the right context and then the choice as to what to do with it. That choice element is always something which calls for new age leadership, 100%, and I, I cover that in detail. However, putting information in context in real time provides you the knowledge to make proper choices. Right. And that's what we stand for. Yeah. And I'd like to double click into real time. You know, what kind of latencies are we talking about here? And is you know, public cloud suitable for all of those use cases? Or are we going to end up seeing some of that you know, data decisioning, inferencing happening at the edge to like you know, hit tolerance in those latencies? E excellent question. We do feel that the latency that we are talking about is very low single digit milliseconds. Yep. Okay. So, so it sub is 10 milliseconds. Correct. In fact, uh, one of Fortune 5 company, our SLA, is not to exceed 20 milliseconds of latency. Yep. And they're one of the biggest you know, sort of data um, companies or shops in the world. You ask a very interesting question, and it's also very, very close to Kanan's heart as well, is the entire need for speed of compute through information, which is really the GPU LLM conversation. Right. 
I do think that the future of AI is with GPUs. Yeah. Now, will the clouds incorporate GPUs as part of their stack? I just see that as the next move in the cloud, for sure. I do think that the world is moving towards GPUs, and there is no, no doubt about that, and single store is extremely suited and available uh, for GPU uh, processing. Excellent. Kanan, let's bring you into the conversation. Give the audience a little bit of a backstory on LiveRamp. I know you guys have a great story, a lot of strong, substantive outcomes, but give us that story about what you guys do, and then let's double click into what you're doing with single store. So, yeah, I'm Kanan, I'm Chief Architect of LiveRamp. And LiveRamp is a data collaboration platform, right? So we let, you know, basically customer data, different customer touch point data, and we make it useful by connecting them together, right? And we let you collaborate with your partners and customers using that data, right? So that is our main uh, collaboration platform does, actually, right? So we have like nearly two decades of experience in the space, right? And so we have like partners, rich partners for so many years, and we developed relationships and all those good stuff, right? Which is like wine, it's good by aging, right? <laughs> Whereas, technology is not that, right? Technology we have to reinvent. We have to reinvent every few years, right? To stay on top of it. The knowledge and data database is good, right? But whereas, technology we have to reinvent. So that's what we are doing right now. We are reinventing ourselves with a new technology like single store and uh, you know different new technologies of stack. We are upgrading it to solve our problems now. So, yeah, that's where. And I are. understand that that LiveRAM has two terabytes of read and write on an object store with single store. Talk about that and why that's so crucial to LiveRAM's business. So, yeah, basically, right. You know, uh, I joined LiveRAM like three years back. We started looking at their data very deeply. The LiveRAM's data is more structured data. Right, whereas we've been using Hadoop kind of process to scale it, right? Because that was the only thing available at that point of time, right? With the structured data, we want to scale with a really good database. That's where we are evaluating database. At the time, single store came, we evaluated a single store, right? At that time, single store started supporting object store. At the same time, Google had good object store support, the GCS support, which gave us like multi terabytes per second speed, which came together really well for us to solve our problems. Right? So now, with the combination of GCS as an object store and single store as a database and our data, we were able to get hours, like a batch process which was taking for like 20 plus hours, we were able to bring it down to seconds. Right? So that led us to a big change and started working on it, where from batch process to close to real time processing kind of thing now. So when we are doing that, single store introduced vector DB, like in a vector approach. That get us like a you know, you know different angle to uh, move our analytical data like for the transactional data and analytical data we were able to do with the same database. Now we were able to convert to vector. With the vector data, we were able to train the models and bring the models to live. Right. So I don't know. In 2019, I mentioned this in a, uh, Apple's Foundation DB Summit that there's a data, we need a data store to solve the micro models, right? We need micro models, and micro, to solve that, we need a good data store. In 2019, I talked about it, single to solve it now. And I think it's like a dream come true kind of way, in a way, right? So we need that type of, you know, because LLMs and bigger models are huge data models are there, actually, right? But whereas to solve enterprise problems, we need micro models, more specific models for that enterprise to solve their problems. To do that, we need to convert our data into vector and train our models. That's where single store coming into play, where we can move our analytical data and transactional data into vector and train our models with the GPU support. You know what, we'll be the fastest graph and biggest graph in the world. Yeah, I, th I think you've described uh, what you know sounds like a very complex architecture, but that's actually quite common when you start dealing with scale. The structured data, the unstructured data, you know, multiple different database implementations in there. Uh, but you also gave us a bit of uh, you know what you what you want out of the next generation. So keep keep tugging on that thread. Tell us a bit more about you know your vision into where this evolves. So basically, right, you know, now the analytical data is there, transactional data is there. Now they combine it together, that's very, very good, right? So we need one database to solve both the data. Now they moved it to vector now. So when the data is in vector, still the GPU memory and our CPU memory are isolated now. So this is the database which is closest to solve the problem. Because we can because they swap between memory and storage very easily now. With the same, this one, with the partnership with NVIDIA they have, my dream is for them to do the same swapping between GPU and memory and disk. 
which will that's solve the whole problem. That's how you're going to meet in the middle between the CPU and the GPU is single store. Yeah, because they're not in native uh, memory store database, right? You know, so they already done it in memory. So they are the closest one to solve that in GPU. Right, that's my that's my vision one. I want to solve the whole problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That's great. <laughs> Raj, bringing you back into the conversation, talk a little bit about some of the technology requirements that LiveRamp had that came to Single Store and said, we, this is what we've been doing, it's not working, we've got a lot of customer demand. What were some of those technology requirements under the hood that Single Store delivers that no other competitor can? Yeah, I do think that uh, probably Connor knows single store as well as any of our engineers do. I mean, that's really the beauty of the infrastructure world. One of the things that you touched upon, Justin, was you, you said that the architecture for the new age <coughs> seems very complex. Yep. That's true. And one of the core things that we at single store, apart from performance and the other stuff that I'm going to get into, we feel this complexity cannot scale. And if you're, the only thing that scales is simplicity, yeah. all right? Now simplicity doesn't mean you ignore complexity, it means you conquer it. Right. And what we at Single Store believe is that you can retire between three to seven databases from your architecture wow. by bringing in Single Store, hence the name, and you were part of the rebranding, <laughs> Single Store for your data. Now, that doesn't mean that the world only needs one database. Sure, it sure. needs more than one, but a vast majority of the data workloads can be managed by single store. So that that was one of the big, um, and I don't mean to speak on Kanan's behalf, but as he you know articulates, that solved a lot of the complexity or will solve a lot of the complexity for life. Yeah. Apart from the fact that there is always this tug of war between performance and price tag, yeah. right? So of course everyone likes performance, but at what cost? Right. Due, due to our unique storage architecture, right? We are memory, disk, and object store. So you can get low single digit millisecond response times as well as the lowest TCO for your business. And that, you know, fundamentally is the value proposition of single store which was thankfully very well recognized by Conan um, and then by his team. So very grateful for their support. So I don't want to go too, too deep. I'm sure we can read the white papers on it, but just tell us a little bit about the performance of single store. You know, I'm super interested in how fast can that GPU, you know, put and get data from it. So one of our esteemed customers, wink, wink, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have been able to reduce their response time from 44 hours to 18 seconds. Oh, wow. So that's what we are talking about. So and two days. I know someone to... who can talk more about it, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's the sort of time that we're looking at. But I'll give you another couple of examples. We actually have a very large telecommunication provider which takes all these reports from the telemetry on their switches and infrastructure. They had a report they called the big report. Yep. And uh, that would run for 12 hours and then time out because it just couldn't process the information. They have converted that into a real-time dashboard using single star. Mm. So you're talking about three to four orders of magnitude yep. difference in performance. Wow. Kanan, can you elaborate on that? I, I sure. think the, yeah. the so, you know, spotlight is on you. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the main thing is like, you know, we are innovation company, right? We want to innovate, right? So we want an innovative partner. That's what we looked at single store, right? You know, we want equally innovative partners so that we can change the world for in our side, right? So that's one of the reasons. And when you look at the details as you asked for it, right? So it checked up all the check marks we wanted, right? We had a good SQL interface as a MySQL interface for the database. And we had a, now, like now they produce MongoDB interface. Now we have other arrow kind of different interfaces they're developing now. So we are solid interfaces to get to the data. And the storage from memory and disk, NVMEs and solid state disks, and went to uh, object store. That object store support made that difference of analytical database, right? That changed the world, actually, right? It's yet to realize fully for the rest of the world, but we are happy to be in the front, right? Solving the bigger problems, because now the database is bottomless but still we can use the power of memory and the real-time processing in an efficient way. They are the best to persons to swap the data between those things very, very efficiently. So that's where we are getting millisecond performance on the things which we are doing. Like the, beyond the IO level, we were able to cache and get the data performance in the current system now. 
Can I question for you, from LiveRam's perspective, what are some of the additional data collaboration opportunities that like Gen AI is mm -hmm. going to be able to deliver and how is Single Store a catalyst in that? So basically, right, we, are, we can use the Gen AI in a different places, right? One is letting our customers to run uh, queries against our data and you know to analyze the data we can we are providing a gen AI layer using their interface actually right to provide that that is one part of it and that is the simplest part I think right because it's a well known use case everybody knows about it of course it's a easy, easy low hanging fruit but the hard part is using our graph data and converting our graph into a vector data and building models against it to answer some of the questions we are trying to do with basic joints and basic table one using uh, a customized model is going to be the future. That is where we can change the way we are working and change the world is working, right? So that is where the biggest change we are expecting. That's where we are partnering with both Google on the Vectex side and uh, single store on the Vector DB side. So we are combining, combining and trying to solve a bigger problem now. And, and we do integrate with Vertex uh, oh, nice. seamlessly. Yeah. So yeah. That Excellent. Helps. Raj, last question for you. You know, there's been a lot of challenges in building modern Gen AI applications. How does Single Store solve those for your customers? Yeah, we, we actually have a fairly simple mantra. You know, if you have ignored your data estate for decades, AI is not your silver bullet that's going to solve it, right? So fundamentally, your ability to hop onto this, you know, train of AI is steeped in how well you have looked after your data estate. Yeah. If it's complex, if it has multiple data stores, if the data is very, very fragmented, and of course, you're, you're going to just find it harder. A lot of the customers who've done the hard work and have created their own what we call contextual store, which is a you know a single single store where you get contextual data in, and then that contextual data can train your LLMs, like Kanan and I were talking right before the show, to provide that unique context of your organization to what I call industrial LLMs, and they can then respond and be the ambassador of AI for your company. I like that. That's really where we shine. Um, and also, speed is extremely important in AI. And single stores always stood for speed. Yeah. And um, and speed at reasonable economical costs. Yeah. And that's, at, that's at, really our mantra. And at scale, love it. Raj, Kanan, thank you so much for joining thank us, you. sharing how single store and live ramp are working together, how you're using Gen AI, and really the data collaboration benefits that your customers are getting and all the, the data customers of single store. We really appreciate your insights and your time. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Our we appreciate Thank your you. time. Yeah, for our guests and for Dustin Kirkland, Thank I'm Lisa much. Martin. I it. You're watching theCUBE Live. This is day two of our coverage of Google Cloud Next 23. Up next, our analyst panel comes together to give you a great breakdown of day two. Stick around, we'll be right back. Let's shake hands and take a picture there.